Hello, I'm going to talk about overthinking today. Overthinking is something which we all do at times, including me. Overthinking is when we think about something endlessly in a circle, in a loop, and we cannot get out of it. Overthinking is also when we ask a lot of what ifs and shoulds in our statement and thinking. So I'll tell you about forms of overthinking and how you can identify if you're overthinking and I'm going to tell you five simple tips which is going to help you stop overthinking. So stay tuned. Thank you. Okay, so there are few simple ways we do overthinking so one is when we have to make a decision we keep thinking about it what will happen if something goes wrong so deliberately overthinking before making a decision so fear mainly plays a big role into that sweating for small things at times we sweat for a lot of small things there are small things which is not required to be worried about but we do worry about that uh, <clears throat> we trying to control the future so at times we want to secure our future and I think that's why we all are racing and doing things so trying to secure that future takes a lot of toll in our head and that is one of the pattern of overthinking the other one which I see commonly in a lot of people is they are trying to read other person's mind and that is not possible but we do try, right? If he would have said this, that means X, Y and Z and that is what we keep trying. So these are some of the patterns of thoughts which we psychologists call overthinking and this overthinking can lead you into stress and depression at times we also feel and think that we are trying to do a problem solving but that problem solving does become into overthinking at that time and we don't know about that so please be aware of this and that can lead you into depression as well so now I'm going to tell you this five techniques which is proven by even science and neuroscience to help you overcome your overthinking patterns or habits. The first one is we call it replace your thoughts. So normally I'll, I'll give you this example and I do this in my workshops as well. I tell my participants don't think about pink elephant for one minute so close your eyes and don't think for or about a pink elephant so I'll give you 10 seconds close your eyes and try this technique okay we cannot stop thinking about something which has been told that you should not think about it so that's that's a evolutionary mechanism of our brain i can talk about that in a lot of detail but what we do is when you want to oh i should stop thinking this i don't want to think this that does not work most of the time so what you have to do is you have to replace that thought so Rather than thinking about pink elephant, what you can do is you can think about a pink horse or you can tortoise or something like that. So that is going to help you not think about the pink elephant or in a similar way not think about the distracting thought. The second one is ask what is the worst thing can happen. Or what is the probability of something happening we a lot of times ruminate and we keep thinking about oh, what if this happens what if that person does that 
So the question you should ask is what is the probability of happening this? What is the worst case scenario? So ask these questions and that is going to help you come to a logical sense rather than keep thinking emotionally. So that is going to help you. The third technique which you can utilize is rephrasing your thoughts. So the first example is you might think I hate my job. I am stuck in my job. What you can do is you can rephrase the same statement into I need a more meaningful job or I want a better career or I need a better job which is more satisfying to my needs. So rather than keep thinking about I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck which leads you to depression and a lot of stress you can think I want to get into a job which is more meaningful to me. So rephrasing your thoughts into something actionable is going to help you take action and get rid of that overthinking pattern. So that is your third technique which you can utilize. The fourth one which is my favorite and which is recommended and there is a special video about this as well. You do a brain dump in a notebook or a journal. So it's called brain dump or expressive writing in psychological terms. What you do is not stopping you just get your emotions and thoughts out on a piece of paper and you can do it first thing in the morning or before you go to sleep it has been proven scientifically to give you a lot of benefits and my personal experience is that is one of the amazing and best technique which you can utilize to find peace for your head the fifth one is my favorite, another one, is getting back to your five senses. So becoming mindful, having the awareness to what I'm seeing right now, what I'm hearing right now, what I'm smelling right now, what is the taste like, what is my touch feels like. So when you are overthinking, when you bring your attention back to these five physical sensations, you will be able to reduce that overthinking so this mindful technique you have to practice it multiple times in a day and you will get better at it and you will be able to break the loops of overthinking and that is one of my favorite technique to bring your head to peace so these are the simple five techniques which you can utilize you have to practice because overthinking grows and it becomes a habit so you have to practice and put effort to break this habit overthinking can lead you to lot of stress and depression there are a lot of people can get hooked up with thinking so I highly recommend if you are feeling that you are not able to control your thoughts seek professional help my details are here in this video as well you can get in touch but please seek help if you cannot manage it's okay to not feel okay at times and I strongly suggest you to seek help when things get difficult hope this was helpful like this video subscribe to my channel and I'll see you soon take care thanks